I think the way that we need to start thinking in dentistry that we haven't started thinking is in terms of what's the available workforce, what do they want, and how can I meet them where they're at? So if I've got 100%. two people that want to work part-time, but I can't find a single one that wants to work full-time, how can I make these two part-timers work? Even if it's not the ideal. Yep. That's the thing we have to be thinking about. We have to be thinking differently. Here's the thing. If we still keep thinking that this is how it's done in dentistry, this is what we do in dentistry, This we are going to get left behind. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. We, we've got to shed that way of thinking and open up to what else is possible. And I call that the yes and, right? It's yes and, how? I don't sit here knowing all of the answers. I know that I just have to, I sat on that couch for two hours a month ago, just like, Jerry, you got to think differently. And if you need to think differently, like okay, our doctors and, and owners and business owners need to think differently, but what does that differently look like? And it's going to be right in it at the same time. Like it's going to be different for every person every, and every yes. practice. Yes. There's no one, there's yes. no one different. That's going to be the different. And here's the key. Here's the key. You have to allow yourself to stop looking for the right answer because you're yes. not in dental school and there's not one right answer. There's not yes. one right and a hundred wrong. There's a yeah. lot of rights, but what is the right answer for you? And you have to give yourself permission to make decisions confidently, to try new things and allow yourself to fail. Because the two part-timers idea might just be a total flop. And, but it might not be that you totally give up on the idea. It might be that you reframe it. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not a failure, right? It's just your first attempt. It's right. your first attempt.